Ever wondered how your muscles grow? Well, it's not just about lifting heavy weights. Now, isn't that a surprising fact? It's a common misconception that muscles grow during a workout. That's not entirely true. Let's dig a bit deeper into this intriguing process. When you're engaged in intense physical activity, be it lifting weights, doing push-ups, or running a marathon, something fascinating happens on a microscopic level. Your muscles experience what we call micro-tears. Yes, you heard that right. Your muscle fibers actually tear a little. Sounds painful? Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. These micro-tears are the result of exerting your muscles beyond their usual capacity. It's like pushing your muscles to their limits and saying, hey, we need to be stronger for the next challenge. These tiny tears are the body's natural response to strain, and believe it or not, they are the starting point of muscle growth. You might be thinking, wait, I thought muscle growth was all about pumping iron and getting those gains? Yes, but it's not the whole story. Muscle growth, also known as hypertrophy, is a complex process that goes beyond the gym. It's a combination of exercise, nutrition, rest, and most importantly, time. So when you're lifting those heavy weights or pushing for that extra mile, you're not just working out, you're creating a stimulus, triggering your body to adapt and grow stronger. You're causing these micro tears in your muscles, which signals the body to repair and grow them bigger and stronger. So the next time you're pushing through that last rep, remember you're not just building strength, you're creating the building blocks for muscle growth. It's not just about the sweat and effort you put in the gym, but also about what happens inside your body, the unseen and unsung heroes of your muscle growth journey. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into this fascinating process in the next scenes, because understanding your body is the first step towards a healthier, stronger you. So we've got these tiny tears in our muscles, what's next? Enter protein. Picture protein as your body's personal handyman. It steps in, tools in hand, ready to fix the damage and make the structure, in this case your muscles, even stronger than before. But how does it do this? Well, proteins are made up of smaller units known as amino acids. These amino acids are the building blocks of your body. They do everything from constructing your DNA to, you guessed it, repairing and building your muscles. When you exercise and create those tiny tears in your muscles, your body responds by sending in the amino acids. They act like a construction crew, repairing the damaged muscle fibers. But they don't just patch things up and call it a day, oh no, they're overachievers. They build the muscle back up, making it even bigger and stronger than before. This repair and rebuild process is what leads to muscle growth. The more you work out, the more tears you create, and the more repairs your body has to make. And each repair job results in a muscle that's a little bit bigger and stronger than it was before. But here's the catch. Your body can't produce all the amino acids it needs on its own. That's where dietary protein comes in. When you eat foods rich in protein, you're giving your body the tools it needs to repair and grow your muscles. So, make sure you're fueling your body with plenty of protein, especially after a workout when your muscles are in prime repair mode. And don't think this is just for the bodybuilders out there. Whether you're a runner, a yogi, or just someone who likes to stay active, protein is crucial for repairing your muscles and promoting growth. Remember, protein isn't just for bodybuilders, it's the handyman that helps repair your muscles, making them bigger and stronger. The gym's closed, your workout's done. It's time to rest and let your body do its magic. Now you might be thinking, I've sweated it out, I've chugged down my protein shake, what more is there to it? Well, there's an often overlooked but crucial component to muscle growth, sleep. Yes, you heard that right, sleep. You see, while you're off in dreamland, your body is hard at work. It's during these restful hours that your body gets busy repairing those tiny tears in your muscle fibers caused by your intense workout. During sleep, your body enters a state of regeneration and repair. Blood flow to your muscles increases, and this is when the magic happens. Your body starts to produce growth hormones that go on a mission to repair the damaged muscle fibers. These hormones stitch up the tears, and not just that, they build them back stronger and bigger. It's like a construction crew working the night shift, reinforcing a structure, making it more robust than it was. But it's not just about muscle repair. Sleep also plays a vital role in protein synthesis, the process that aids in muscle recovery and growth. A lack of sleep can hamper this process, slowing down your muscle recovery and growth. In addition to this, sleep deprivation can lead to increased levels of cortisol, a stress hormone that can lead to muscle breakdown. So not only does a lack of sleep slow down muscle growth, 
it can actually reverse the process. So if you're serious about muscle growth, then you need to be serious about your sleep. Make sure you're getting seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. This gives your body the time it needs to repair, recover, and grow. Let's not forget sleep is not just about quantity, but also quality. A deep uninterrupted sleep is what your body needs to effectively carry out these processes. Your bed isn't just for dreaming, it's your body's workshop where muscle growth really happens. We've covered the tearing, the repairing, and the resting. So what's the end result? You may be asking, well, let's delve into that. You see, the growth process is a fascinating one. It's like a well-oiled machine, where every cog has a purpose and a place. One cannot function without the other. The tearing of muscle fibers during a grueling workout, the protein power repairing those tears, and the beauty sleep that gives your body a chance to do its magic. All these elements come together to contribute to the growth process. But what happens after all that? What's the final product, you ask? Well, that's where the magic truly happens. After all the hard work, the sweat, the soreness, the protein shakes, and the sleep, your muscles grow. Yes, they do. They become slightly bigger, stronger, and more defined. Now, don't get me wrong here. This isn't some fairy tale where you wake up one morning and voila, you've got muscles bulging out of your shirt. No, it's a slow and steady process. It's about noticing that you're lifting a little heavier, running a bit faster, and your shirts are fitting a tad tighter. It's about seeing a new vein popping out or that your body is getting more defined. It's about feeling stronger, healthier, and more confident. And remember, this isn't a one-time deal. You can't just hit the gym once, guzzle down a protein shake, sleep for a day, and expect to see results. It's a consistent and disciplined process. It's about making those workouts a part of your routine, ensuring you're getting the right nutrition, and giving your body the rest it needs. And as you continue on this journey, as you keep pushing, keep eating right and sleeping well, you'll notice the changes. You'll see your body transform, your muscles grow, and your strength increase. And that's the beauty of the growth process. So keep at it, keep tearing, repairing, and resting, because muscle growth isn't an overnight process, but with consistency and discipline, those gains will come. We've learned that muscle growth is a process, but what's the secret to seeing it through? Here's the deal, folks. It's all about consistency and discipline. You can't expect to see progress if you're not putting in the work day in and day out. It's not just about hitting the gym, either. Consistency also applies to your diet. Your body needs fuel to repair those tiny muscle tears we talked about. That means eating a balanced diet rich in protein. And let's not forget about sleep. Your body does its best repair work while you're catching those Zs. So make sure you're getting enough shut-eye. And discipline? That's the glue holding everything together. It's what gets you to the gym on those days when you'd rather stay in bed. It's what keeps you eating right and sleeping well, even when life gets hectic. Remember, your muscles don't grow in the gym, they grow in the kitchen and the bedroom. Keep consistent, stay disciplined, and you'll see those gains.